Hello, hello, Amika Westerfield here, independent color street stylist. So I know I do a lot of application videos, but I feel like it's nice to do them with um, different sets and chat with you all. I am building my YouTube channel, so would love it if you subscribed and invited your friends. I will have mostly color street videos and Stampin' Up! videos, and I'm gonna be creating some other cards and things on here and showing you guys different scrapbooking techniques and all sorts of fun stuff. But today I am going to show you how to put on just a basic set of nails. And this is Hint of Mint. In front of me I have part of our nail care line, which is phenomenal. Our nail polish remover, guys, I, I strongly recommend it. It is works amazingly well with our glitters. It is only three ingredients. It's actually made in the USA. It's phenomenal. We also have a wonderful hand lotion that is highly concentrated and really high quality that I love. And then the two things that I've gone absolutely gaga over are our nail strengthener or our cuticle oil. You can buy them individually for $12 US or you can bundle the two together and get a little discount. So that ends up being uh, $11 a bottle, which is really nice. So the cuticle oil I won't put on until probably right before bedtime because you want your nails when you do them to be clean and dry. Um, I already pushed back the cuticles, I already filed them, and I actually already applied the nail strengthener probably about a half hour ago. It dries really quickly, but I want to make sure it's completely dry before I do the nail application. Our nails are made in the USA, which is huge. I support as many U.S. businesses as I can. I love to support friends and neighbor and family and other people who live here with their work and everything. So I'm excited that Color Street produces our, our product in-house. This set of nails, like I said, is called Hint of Mint and it is designed for a one-time use. It is guaranteed for a year in the original factory sealed packet. Obviously, if you take it out and it doesn't work, then you know I can get you a replacement if it's within that year time. If you reseal your nail strips, which you're not officially supposed to do, and then they don't work whenever you take them out of that sealed um, package that you did, there that would make sense because, they, like I said, they're only a one-time use product. However, a lot of us do seal them and reuse them, and they work fine for us, but there's no guarantees. So inside the packet, it kind of shows you what it's made up of. It's a base coat, a color and a top coat and then it gives you little instructions here but it's always good to um, see a video. There's a nail file, a complimentary nail file included in each pack and then this is the nail prep pad and then you have the actual nail strips themselves. So I usually set these aside and use them as little gifts or fun little stocking stuffers. This prep pad is important. It lifts any additional oils and dirt you may have on your fingernails and hands. So you just put rub it on all of your nails like this. And I, like I said, I already filed them, push the cuticles, cuticles back. When you file, you want to make sure that you file in the same direction. This is a glass nail file. I have some that I've purchased that I thought were glass, but they're not etched glass. You want to get an etched glass nail file. They last longer than the ones with the spray on nails. Now, on this package right here, you're going to open it up. I apologize for my family in the background. You just tear it open like this. And then it smells like nail polish remover because it's real nail polish remover. It's very, very cool. So I'm going to pull it out and we have two strips of nails. So on these two strips, you notice that there's 18, there's a total of eight on each sheet for a total of 16 nail strips. These are gorgeous. I love our glitters. They're so fabulous. They're double ended because you want to make sure that you find the one that fits your nail bed the best. So I've done these nails obviously a lot, so I know that this one works best on my pinky nail. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna flip it sideways, and then you're going to lift this clear plastic protective covering off, throw that away. It does have to be removed. One of the first times I did nails, I did not take them off and they didn't stick right and I didn't know what was wrong with them. All right, so then you're going to lift the silver tab like this. I turn this side that was against the bottom, keep that up, 
turn it a quarter of a turn and attach it for the anchor method. And the best way to do your nails is pinky pinky, ring finger, ring finger, um, in middle finger, middle finger, index finger. If you're going to do multiple layers or play around with nail art, I usually let the lower layer of my nail strip set up for about a half hour. Although it goes on dry, I can go pet my dog. I can fold laundry right after I put it on. But the big thing is, is that I'm going to grab this is that you don't want to submerge them. So don't like wash your hair, wash the dishes, wash the dog. So two ways to do this. You can use your nails as tools. That's your thumbnails. That's why you do them last. And you're trying to perforate the end. You fold it over the end of your nail. So I have it folded over and I'm going to tuck it in. Now, if your nails are really short, you don't necessarily have anything to tuck it under. You could just fold it over the edge and you can file it later or pull it off later. I like to do that because I like the ends the tips of my nails to be very, um, very covered, you know, because we're kind of rough on our, our nail tips. We drum our hands and we do all sorts of things. So if your nails are a little bit shorter, then you can grab it and do the other side as well. So this is just slightly wider than my nail, but I'm going to show you some tricks. As I press it down, I start with my cuticle and I push straight up. And then I wrap over and down. And then do you see the extra right here? I take a cuticle stick. I call it a cuticle stick. Other people call it orange sticks. I think it might've been originally to help peel oranges, but it's a little wooden stick. It's actually my favorite tool to use. And I will often put them inside of the packs, like little goodie bags and stuff I hand out. And then you just perforate the edge and then you peel it away. And you can always go back afterwards and clean things up. If your hands are extraordinarily dry, like in the winter time, I, although I don't put lotion on right before I do my nails, I make sure that day that I do have no lotion on my finger and my skin so that it's easier to peel it all off. Isn't that pretty? So that's all that you do. And then you just go all the way across and finish up your fingers. And later on tonight, I will add some cuticle oil I switch it up on my ring fingers on which one I use. This is so pretty. And if you don't like glitters, our solids are phenomenal. I do recommend the nail strengthener. It's actually a three-in-one. I use it as a nail strengthener, but I also did it as a base coat. Although these nail strips have a base coat, it just gives it a really nice, smooth, more luxurious, even more luxurious look. And I also will use it as a top coat, but I also enjoy having my nails glossy and thick. I'm just going to show you one more nail as I go. And if you make mistakes, so if you've tried these before, they're pretty easy to put on, but you do want to try, give yourself a couple times trying on the nails to get comfortable doing it, as you would with anything else new. So that is all that you do, is you just put them on like this. And usually when I'm not doing a video, it doesn't take me near as long to put them on. But as I talk, it takes me a little bit longer. And then if that one... I have it kind of wadded up, so I'm going to throw that piece away. All right, my friends. My family's kind of getting loud. My daughter just got home from work, so I'm going to go visit with them. And peace out. Make good choices and have an amazing day. Thanks for watching my video.